What is going on guys? It is your boy Gio here back at it again with yet another video and in this one it's going to be a little bit different all right but in the sense that I'm going to be talking about how much hair you lose in a day but I'm also going to be demonstrating exactly how much that is when it comes to visualizing it. I'm also going to be telling you while losing that much hair on a daily basis is actually okay. Before I get started, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't already. Also slap that notification bell so you do not miss out on any future videos really helps us out and helps support the channel grow. Let's get into it. Before you go freaking out, I get why you're freaking out. You're probably watching this video because you're freaking out and you brushed your hair one day and it came as a shock to you exactly how much hair was on the brush or at the bottom of the drain after the shower. This primarily goes out to all my long hair brethren out there or rather people who have just started growing their hair out for the first time but anyways, the short answer is you lose up to 100 to 200 hairs at any given day. When you shower, it could be closer to the 200 range. See, what I did to help illustrate that was I kept my hair tied up in a ponytail for a full 24 hours without brushing it, and I made sure throughout the day to keep the ponytail nice and tight. And you see, later on what I did was open up my ponytail and brush my hair for roughly 2 to 5 minutes just to make sure all the shed hairs were out, and that's where this bad boy came in right here. Now that's nasty, it's a lot of hair, and it would be rather shocking for someone who hasn't had long hair before, but yes, that is roughly 100 to 150 hairs, and you lose that much every day. You're probably wondering how the hell I am not bald already, given that yeah, that's a lot of goddamn hair. But you see, like I said before, I've been losing hair to that extent for the past 10 years, and during times where I had it longer, the hair shed appeared a lot more thicker and voluminous and vice versa when it was shorter. What I'm getting at here is that if you have shorter hair, you lose the exact same amount, but you tend to notice it less because it's a lot shorter. The longer it is, the more voluminous appears. Girls know exactly what I'm talking about. Also, guys who have had their significant other move in or something like that, you tend to notice a lot more hair around the house. But you might not be able to notice your hair because it's a lot shorter. How are you going to notice something that's that big in comparison to something that's this big? Can't front though, when I started growing out my hair for the first time, I was so paranoid that I kid you not, I actually spent the whole day trying to count exactly how many hairs I was losing by brushing it, collecting the hairs off my pillowcase, because I was convinced that the amount of hair I was losing was abnormal, and by growing out my hair, I was somehow adding more weight to it, causing the hair follicles to fall out faster. Some dumb stuff, I know, but hey, I did not know any better. Just because you're losing hair at that abnormal rate, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going bald. To give a short breakdown on how going bald happens, otherwise known as androgenic alopecia, primarily happens due to hormonal changes and various other medical conditions. It can also be a normal part of aging, and it is also hereditary. What happens with alopecia, it's not like you lose an excessive amount of hair daily, like up to 400 hair follicles. Rather, the hair gets lost on a daily basis and the process is affected by a hormone called dihydrotestosterone, which causes the hair follicle to grow back thinner and more brittle each and every time until the hair follicle eventually just dies out. This is a lot more noticeable as your hairline will begin to fade and your hair overall will appear a lot more thinner than it usually is. But the likelihood is that if you started growing out your hair recently and notice hair falling out more, it isn't due to the fact that you're growing bald, or rather you just end up noticing your hair more and is a lot more obvious for people who have darker hair follicles for obvious reasons. But chill out, like I said, the likelihood of you having alopecia due to medical conditions or hormonal changes is very unlikely from a statistical standpoint. If it's hereditary, even then, the chances of it timing itself at the exact moment you start growing your hair out is very unlikely. You also grow up to 100 new hairs a day, so the hair that gets shed gets replaced. And I know I said you lose 100 to 150 hairs a day, so you're probably thinking that's still a decline if I'm losing more hairs than I'm growing them out. But don't worry, you lose more hairs on the days where you shower due to the simple fact that hairs might be stuck in your head from the previous day and so on. Or if you're like me and you like to wear your hair in a ponytail when you're inside, or you just don't brush regularly. But come on, if you're not brushing, what are you doing? Come on. Just do it. Also, washing with warm water tends to open up the pores on your scalp, allowing the hair follicles that are loose to fall out easier, so my point is, you have nothing to worry about. If you just recently started growing out your hair, take it from someone who has had long hair for 10 plus years that this right here ain't nothing to worry about. Females go through the exact same thing. For anyone that's out there saying that guys' hair is different structurally than females' hair, no, shut up. 
don't listen to them. They don't know what they're talking about. Hair is hair, it is shed the same, and it is grown back the same. Anyways, don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. My name is Gio, and I will see you next time.